you see you go a lady goes to a church when the lady gets to the church they say who are you he said i'm spirit husband i'm not going they say you must go he said i'm not going you will see the spirit revolting and challenging the pastor or the prophet whoever is trying to cast out that spirit then they will now force the spirit and the person will fall under the power maybe because the pastor is very anointed then guess what will happen the spirit goes outside the church to wait yes it goes outside the church to wait after the church closes it carries the woman back to their house ladies and gentlemen i have seen a woman physically beaten mercilessly with bruises all over her body just because she had an affair with her real husband spirit husband beat her in the night what we are saying a lot of people don't understand but it is real it is real spirit husband exists you have, they have been shouting oh that man is mine that marriage is mine that business is mine that job is mine this is seven to ten years many of them are getting tired they are getting tired of going to church they are getting tired of the things of god many of them say there's no power in the church anymore meanwhile there is power but because you are doing the wrong thing demons obey the name jesus but principality don't why because principalities are legal they only obey the blood that is why jesus gave his blood hello beautiful people a lot of people have been coming down to my dm to ask me who are these witnesses you have been talking about a lot of people have told me who are these witnesses they've been asking me who are these witnesses that you are talking about make sure principality leaves us now the bible says in second corinthians 13 and verse 1 it says this is a third time i'm coming to you that at the mouth of two or three witnesses every word is established he's saying this is the third time i'm coming to you you must understand the fact that at the mouth of two or three witnesses is a word established in hebrews chapter 10 and verse 28 the bible says he that despised moses law died without mercy in the presence of two or three witnesses those who despise moses law died without mercy now there are a whole lot of scriptures that talk about the witnesses now if you read in first epistle of saint john's chapter 5 and verse 8 he said there are three that bears witness on earth the spirit the water and the blood now if you also read in isaiah 43 and verse 9 he says let the nations be gathered together just the way many people are gathered he said let the people be assembled you know, every time you gather yourself in a particular group, maybe in a church, in a conference, he said, let the people be assembled. Then he now selected one person. He said, who among them can declare this and show us former things? He says, let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. Now, if these witnesses are not important, you remember Jesus when he came into this world, he cast out as many demons as possible. He cast out, he said, what's your name? He said, this. He said, go. What's your name? He said, he said, go. But when it came to principality, Jesus had to die. God, first of all, gave Jesus as the painful sacrifice. He presented Jesus, first of all. And even when Jesus wasn't comfortable with this, he said in that garden of gethsemane he said lord if this is your will let this cup pass over me but heaven kept quiet and jesus said not my will nevertheless not my will but your will all right and then he surrenders to the will of god he got to that cross three major things came out of his body what and what came out of his body when he shouted my god my god why has thou forsaken me the spirit came out of his body the blood came out of his body and when the soldier trusted the spear, the water came out. And he said, there are three that bears witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. So when he went to hell, it was those witnesses that principality saw and could not touch him. They tried to grapple over Jesus. The Bible said he threw off from himself. Now, why do we need witness? Reason. Because Jesus came to deal with a legal matter. And you can never deal with any matter that is legal without the presence of witnesses. That's the only essence of that witness. That's the only essence. Dealing with 
principality, you must deal with them with that witness. Now, Jesus poured out a physical blood for all eyes to see. But what we do this time, prophetically, that's why whenever I use it as a symbol, it's not what you would joke with. I use it as a symbol. A lot of people keep asking me, what is that thing in that bottle that whenever you pour it, the whole church will start vomiting. People will be vomiting. People will be passing out their fibroid. People will be passing out to blockade. Barrenness is going to be restored. People issues. People start having breakthroughs. So what are the things in that bottle? Now the things in that bottle that you see me pour or you see me spill is the symbol of the spirit, the water, and the blood. One of these days, I'm going to bring it physically online like this and show you how it looks like and when we use it the reaction if you want to know what happens whenever we spill the spirit water and blood you can check in my dm check some of the, the teachings i've given you before now check what happens you will see how once it touches the earth because it bears witness on the earth you will see massive there's a crusade i did you know in bonnie island i did that crusade thousands of people came for that meeting over 400 persons vomited they are not sick they just saw themselves vomit and if you ask them if you ask them why what happened to you why did you vomit are you sick they'll say they don't know what happened to them and if you're watching me some of you have encountered that in our meetings you know what i'm talking about so principality leaves so if you are a pastor now or anyone trying to criticize what i'm saying that you don't add you don't remove but you must understand the job of the prophet the prophet is supposed to open the scripture for you to see Many people read it academically. They read the Bible as theologians. But they don't read it in a prophetic way. That's why they are seeing nothing. So the Spirit of the Lord instructed me to use the witnesses. And for the last 20 years, I can tell you I've been right 9 out of 10 times. If not 10 out of 10 times. How do you explain a woman that's almost 50 something getting married just 18 days after we use the witnesses on her how would you explain that meanwhile this woman have gone to places they have done deliverance they have done all kinds of prayers for her it, it's not going to work no matter who is saying all kinds of things that you've gone to all the bible school and all, listen if it is a pre if you shout bind the spirit cast it it will not go you have to be, is this thing not embarrassing you that you, you have been praying for somebody, the person will come to church and nothing is happening, change, no change in their lives. It got to embarrass you. You got to find it, find a way it works. That was why he gave his blood. And someone will say, yes, now that he has given his blood, why is the situation still there? It's because the purpose of the, the blood is not to the flesh, it's to the soul. So why is the flesh being the victim because they gave us a physical constitution to obey so if you do not obey what is written in the physical constitution it will come to you it will attack you and you cannot bind him yes if you doubt me keep trying keep binding him you can't it won't work you use the witnesses to deal with him so that your life can change so that your life can be better now how would you how would you explain that everybody is passing through a particular road and when it gets to your turn a cobwebs comes to block your way causing you blockade and you check your life a lot of things are happening and people are telling you stories if care is not taken i repeat if care is not taken time is coming when many people will stop going to churches time is coming people will stop going to church because most of them have gone to church and they are tired you see motivational speakers everywhere. And the painful part is that they are busy criticizing other people doing something to, 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 to push the gospel forward. They are busy you don't have they don't have power, they don't have grace, they don't they just they, they make it an academic thing. They package, put the air condition, and people, ladies, you are going to wear high heel shoes, they will dress well, yes. This is how many years now you've been going to the church? What has changed in your life? 
I'm not against church. I'm trying to make you understand that there is still power in the church. But do the right thing. Use the witnesses to deal with principality. Stop binding. That's someone say, uh, why are you glorifying the devil? I'm de Listen to me. Principalities, we have godly principalities, we have demonic principalities. All of them are principalities. If you want to deal with them, you deal with them with your witnesses. A godly principality can attack you for going against the rule of law. Someone say, Man, why are you saying this? We are not, we, the, the Christian is not under the law. The believer is not under the law. This is how you have been saying it all these years and your people are in bondage. We'll, let us carry the Bible and tear it and throw it away because they are not, nobody should obey any, 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 any verse of the scripture anymore. Who told you they are not? Physically, you are under the law. Physically, in the flesh, the law governs you. But, gee, that's why it's called the right hand of ordinance. It holds you. But when you are dead, no longer in the flesh, as long as you were born again, you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Master before you died, then his death will not mean something to you. You cannot be rapturable. So everything we are talking about here, if a man is born again, say being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. All right? So the seed he he is putting in us is an incorruptible seed. The one's principality is attacking is the corruptible seed of man. He waits until you have gone against the scripture. How do you explain? Somebody will go to the hospital and doctor will say he's not seen anything. And yet, the person will tell you something, a creeping thing is moving all over my body. If you're a woman and creeping thing is moving all over your body, say it in the comment section so that they will understand what we are talking about. Something is moving all over your body. You don't know what is moving. Doctor cannot see it. Then pastor will declare, hey, in the name of Jesus. Heal. And it will still be moving. You carry creeping object to the church and it will still be moving. You leave the church and go back home. How do you expect those people to believe that there is power in the church? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a principality problem, don't let anybody speak English and deceive you. You better deal with it. Because principality is ready to bring you down. You can be doing a business and you think you're making it. The locusts can come if you go against the scripture. What is God's will I be preaching? What am I preaching? I'm telling you, if the Bible says, don't do this, avoid it. If he says, don't do this, avoid it. Don't follow these people that tell you, eh, grace, the grace of God, I've done it for you. Don't follow them. Do what the word said to do and don't do what the word said not to do. That is the only way you can be free from principality while you live in this world. Okay. If you commit an offense, you maybe you are in your country, those of you outside Nigeria and those of you within Nigeria, we are in your country. You, there's a lay down rules that don't break traffic rule. Don't run against the traffic. And you say your father is the president of the country. Then you run against the traffic. The police will definitely arrest you. That is the way principalities operate. They are like police. Okay, you think nothing will happen to you while you're on earth if you go against the scripture. Is that what you're thinking? Is that what they're preaching to you? That nothing will happen to you while you're on earth? Sir, if you go against the scripture, something will happen. The Bible says, he that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. It says, he who breaks an edge, it says, the serpent shall bite him. That verse has already authorized the serpent to bite. Once you commit a crime, why do you think the Bible tells you not to do this? Oh, flee from fornication. Oh, don't do this. Oh, pay your tithe. It tells you things to do and things not to do while you're on earth. Because he knows that Jesus has done his own part. He has bought the whole field. He has paid the full penalty for every sin and every wrong. So when you are born again and rapture comes, you, may, you meet with him and you make heaven. So even if you are born again and you commit a crime, while you are still on this earth, a principality will hold you. He can hold your business. 
<laughs> you will just come and scatter your business and you'll be praying and God will not do anything about it because the Bible says the scripture shall not be broken. He went to God and God was asking him, have you considered my servant Job? Does that not spell something? Does that not tell you something? Have you considered my servant Job? You must understand that principalities are real. They are like the police of the Bible. Why demons are like the criminals. That's why Jesus cast them out. But when he came to principality, he uses his witnesses. That is why the Bible says in that book of 1 John, it says, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation, the sacrifice that is given for our sin. My name is God's will, Abbey. I am here to help you deal with principality. And they call me the principality specialist. See you in the next edition. God bless you. Like the page and bye-bye.